Hey YouTube, second Ibanez of the day. This is for my pal. I just swapped the pickups on it. It's a GAX75, so it's kind of like an SG. Um, it's got a D-tuner on it, um, which are apparently worth a hell of a lot of money. Um, I couldn't believe it when he was talking about it. He was trying to buy another one for one of his other guitars and somebody was trying to charge him 350. And I thought, bah, D-50, that's, that's pretty good buy. I thought it'd be a wee bit more than that. Is that another 350? I'd be but anyway, a similar thing happened to me with a thing called an Ibanez, uh, or stop something. It was a thing that went in the back of a Floyd Rose and kind of a stop gap, a true stop. I'm forgetting the name of it. But I got a guitar in bits that was, a, a, someone had tried to make a project and made an absolute mess of it. And it had the a backstop, it's called, had an Ibanez backstop. I was like, that's a pretty cool wee thing. And I was like, looking it up and I looked them up on eBay and they were going for like 150 quid and I got 180 on eBay in an auction for it. It's like, yeah. So I ended up getting the guitar free. Um, so these things, even if it does seem like a very small thing, if you can't get it and somebody really wants it, that's it. Anyway. So this one's now got a, an Infinity 4 pickup in it, in the bridge, which is um, from an Ibanez RG350, which if you look at my video I did earlier on, or maybe one that's on after this, it's that, that guitar, it got a Bill Lawrence in it. So upgraded pickup, uh, sort of DiMarzio type clone, stop tail bridge, Probably my favourite kind of type of bridge. Uh, this D tuner thing, two bones, two tones, now. Bring me switch. So it's kind of, it's very much an SG shape, but not enough SG shapey to be an SG, if you know what I mean. So neck back up. Let's back up. My Joyo US Dream pedal. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a familiar. Is that like a stone up or something there?
guitar that I set up at some point. Um, so I, I set this up, oh, I don't know, a year ago or something like that, when you first got it. And um, it's great when you get a guitar back a year later and it's like, I know this guitar. So I didn't have to do any fretwork, I didn't have to do anything to it. It was already set up to be playing really, really good. And it's, it plays fantastic, much, far better than it should, if you know what I mean. Um, the difference you can make on guitars just by having them set up properly is night and day. I am sure there's an awful lot of Gibson, <laughs> you know, £2,000 Gibsons out there that don't play as well as this just because they've not been set up. Anyway, so, I think, oh, stupid short lead. Just pull my pedals off the floor. Um, yeah, so, they go much worse than buying this. I, felt, I believe he's actually selling it because he's trying to fund money for another for a guitar. A guitar I've sold him. <laughs> Rock on.